What's up everybody? Surf and Silver here and I am back. Check this out. I got the treasury department 56 proof sets. I got two of them. They only made I think a very few amount of these. I forget what they are. I forget I forget the amount. I think it's 50,000 but I cannot remember exactly. It's very low compared to uh, a lot of other things. And uh, I just realized that for some reason they are slit open. I thought they were actually closed, but they are literally cut open. And I have no idea why. I literally have no idea why. I'm sitting here trying to figure it out right now, and I have no idea why these are cut open. I definitely know that I did not slice into it with the scissors. I know that for a fact. So these are cut open so that you can enjoy them, but still enjoy the 56 proof set packaging which is I thought it was sealed and I'm actually pretty uh pretty off about that right now you know I'm pretty off about that I don't really know if you know all these other ones that are being sold on there that have you know the proof sets I don't think they're opened and I'm literally gonna have to when I sell this I'm gonna have to put that they are opened if I ever do and I don't think I'm going to because these are one of the things that I plan on keeping for a very long time. Uh, I love proof sets and the older ones are just getting harder and harder to find and I plan on just getting all of these harder and harder things to find just so they're not as hard for me to find. Let's check this out. My goodness, since they're open, might as well, right? Wow. That is beautiful. It's a really beautiful half dollar in there. Not too many scratches on that field. I only see a couple. 56. Look at that quarter. Holy, holy, holy. Let's see what the dime looks like. We got the nickel looking good as always. The nickels were really, really nice these years, proof-wise. If you ever get the chance to pick up these earlier proof sets, I don't think you'll regret looking at them. Well, I really enjoy showing you guys these things. They're just not seen every day. They sit in eBay listings, people's uh, warehouses, and storage until somebody pays them. And then everybody can see them after that because then somebody that buys them will make videos with them. Pretty much everything that I get, I end up making a video with because I just want as many people as possible to see these things. Know that they exist, know the mintage, know the rarity of it, and make the decision for yourself. That's what I'm doing. I've been building my collection based on all of the things in the blue book currently. And I am about to get the Morgan and Peace Dollar VAM book. If you haven't and you're into Morgan and Peace Dollars, there is literally a encyclopedia for Morgan and Peace Dollars, VAM Peace Dollars. And VAM stands for Van Allen. And then the M stands for the guy's last name. So those people created the dies for the VAMs, VAM Morgans, and all the expensive, really beautiful Morgans that we see today and uh, they are sought after by collectors because they are literally from the people that made the dies for the Morgan dollar that penny's nice that's a really nice penny look at like the purple turning going on on the bell there oh my Wow, that's nice. It's just, it's been in this uh, sealed pack forever and it does its own toning in there. That's why these coins, that's why this one's starting to look that way. It's going a more reddish brown tone. Especially from the front side. You can see it very well whenever I hold it at certain angles, I think. Where are we at here? there's where it starts to go like red and brown okay wow and it does the same on the back 
at like that angle where you can see the reflections start to see all the colors just a beautiful proof set and uh yeah i definitely suggest getting the blue book or an encyclopedia book or even the red book for that matter they sell blue or red red is for uh people in the people out in the population and uh blue is for wholesale blue is for wholesalers and that is usually wholesale price Really hope you have a great rest of your day, and uh, yeah, I'm Surfing Silver, showing you guys something that you may never have seen before. Thank you, and have a great day.